Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Ovidio? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Welcome back. Uh, thanks. Francis Arnoldo Bersave. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good. Very good. And you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Yep. So it's nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day? I yes, did. Yes, I did. I, <laughs> okay. I'm very busy today. Okay, good. Uh, Bersabe, I received your your messages, uh, but I couldn't answer because I, I teach from 6 p.m. until 10. So I can check either later or tomorrow morning. Okay, teacher, I, I wait. Sorry okay. because I no, no didn't problem. have time no during problem. the... Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you, sir. Okay, sure. All right, so um, let's begin. It's 9.02. What is today's date? Today is November 10th, 2020. Yes, November 10th, 2020. Do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Conversations. Do uh, you? FAQ. <laughs> FAQ. What's the meaning of FAQ? Frequently asked questions. Yes, frequently asked questions. Yes. And we were mentioning the different questions people usually ask. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, every day, you know, at work, at university, in your neighborhood, in your home. Yes. Um, do you remember some of those questions? How was your day? Um, right. What for dinner? Where What's, do you live? Where do you live? How is the food? How old are you? How old are you? Did we get paid yet? Somebody said, are you single? <laughs> are you single? Right. <laughs> um... Do you have $20 I can use? And you know, the usual questions that people ask every day. Yeah, um, any questions or comments about that topic? No, teacher. No? Okay, so we go with um, a reading activity, uh, fact or opinion. Okay. Teacher. What is an opinion? How can you explain the word opinion? What do you think about our about something? Good. Point what you think point about something? Good. Someone else? A point of view. A point of view. Good. And what is a fact? Uh, something something that is real. True. Something that is true, something that is real. Yes. So let me show you. Uh -huh. Let me see this here, right here. Maybe you already read this part in the platform. Um, do you remember reading this part, this article? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes teacher. sir. The Very blue lights of Silver Cliff. Okay. What do you see in the picture? What, what's in this picture? Uh, graves. They are in a graveyard. Graves. Where, where is this so picture? In people, the men, the men are scared because the uh -huh. they are seen on the top stones. Okay. 
And what can you tell me about these objects? Where do you see this? Waves. They are graves. Okay, yeah, graves. Okay, so let's take a look. So what do you think the blue lights are? Okay, mm -hmm. so I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph, please. Today. Uh-huh. I will do it, sir. Okay, go ahead, please. Today, the town of Silver Cliff, Colorado has a population of only 100 people. Once, however, it was prosperous um, meaning town where a thousand come with dreams of finding silver and making their fortune. Yes. Mining towns. Okay. Yes, mining. Sorry. Any questions there? No. Mining teacher? Mining. Mineria. Mineria. Yes. yes. Okay, another volunteer to read the second paragraph, please. Late one night. Late one night in. Uh huh. Late one night in 1880, a group of miners were headed back on their camp after a good time in town. Uh, I can continue. Yeah, continue, please. They they were still laughing and joking as they approached the graveyard on a hide outside Silver Cliff. Then one of them yelled and pointed toward the graveyard. The other fell silent on top of each grave. They saw flame-like blue lights. Uh, these eerie lights seem to be dancing on the graves disappearing and then appearing again okay thank you <laughs> any questions there no um, eerie is eerie 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 lights like unusual yeah like strange right right yes Okay. All right. Let's continue with the reading. I need another volunteer to read the, the next paragraph. This was. This was the first sighting, sighting? Of, sighting of the blue life of Sil Silvercliff. There have, there have been many other sightings, sightings, sightings. sightings over the years. In 1969, Edward Lineham. Lineham, Lineham. Okay, from National Geographic Magazine, visited the graveyard. Graveyard. Lincham's article, the of his experience. I saw them, Dean. Wrong sport of blue white light glower eternally <laughs> among the graves. I stepped forward for a better look. They vanishes. I I missed I my aimed. I aimed my flashlight at one eerie glow. <laughs> eerie eerie glow and switch it on. It revealed only at it revealed only a tombstone. Tom <laughs> yes, very good. Thank you. Any questions there? What does mean tom tombstone? Uh tombstone is una it's a is the part where they have your name the day where you were born and the date where you died. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a tombstone. Tombstone. Yes. Thank you. Good. Teacher. Yes, sir. When when uh, it say I saw them, and then it's a uh, 
four points ending dim. What yeah. that mean? Dim. Dim, uh, not strong. Not strong. Not, not what? Not strong. Oh. Not strong. Weak. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Any other why, question? I, yes? Why they put it uh, like suspensive point? Uh, suspensive dots. I uh -huh. saw them. So they, uh, when, when you see the suspensive dots, it's because you're supposed to make a pause. <laughs> oh, I see. I saw them. Them, round spots. So as you read, you know, you're supposed to be putting uh, special effects to your, to your reading. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, and let's go to the last um, paragraph. Another volunteer, please. Lineham. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Bersabe. Lineham and others have suggested various explanations for the lights. The lights might have been reflection of lights from the tomb, but silver cliff light seemed to them to have this effect. They could have been caused by radioactive or so there's no evidence of radioactivity. They may also have been caused by gases from rotting matter. This yes. usually happens in swamps, however, and the area around Silver Cliff is dry. Or perhaps the lights are from the helmets of dead miners, miners? miners wandering the hills in search of their fortune. Good, thank you. Any questions there? What is the meaning of is man? Is one? Uh, swamp is like a lake, but it's not a real lake. It's like a, a big portion of water where uh, people don't usually swim or bathe. It's un pantano. Okay. Yes. What does it mean when it says rotten matter? Rotten matter. Um, for example, you go to the supermarket and you bring chicken, right? But something happens and you forget to put the chicken in the fridge. When you come back three days later, the chicken is, is, is rotten. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh huh. Anybody else? No. No questions. No. No. All right. So. When you read this exercise, there is an, uh, an exercise you need to do in the platform, whether the information is uh, a fact or just an opinion. Okay, so right now, let's, uh, let's change the topic. It's time for you to get in pairs and share your opinion. What is one feeling that everybody needs to have. A feeling that everybody needs to have. Happiness. Happiness, what else? Love. Love. Peace. Love. Peace, yes. Compassion. Yeah, there are Passion. Passion, right. So there Hope. are many. Hope. Loyalty. Loyalty. Compassion. Compassion, yes. Charity. Okay. Charity. Right. Now, all of them, all the ones that you mentioned, everybody should be able to feel those at one point of their lives. But at the end, you summarize all the words that you said, and on top, 
you have love. So love is gonna be the topic that we will discuss today. Can you see the questions? Yes, sir. Yes, I can. Okay. Yes. So we have, um, are you currently in love? Be honest. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Have you ever been in love? If you're not in love right now? Um, uh, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So let me see this here. Uh -huh. So you can copy the questions that, um, that we have on my screen mm -hmm. right now. If not, I send them to your WhatsApp chats. So let me um, create the pairs. Add a room, add a room. Okay, here we go. All right, so when you get with your partner, you start asking and answering those questions. So whether you have good experiences, bad experiences, good memories, bad memories, just speak your mind. alone in the in the in the breakout room in the breakout room oh teacher yeah, yeah, yeah no no you were not alone but you were assigned with someone that is not able to to get in the session so uh, i okay. have to move you uh, okay. i just felt like i was forever alone and <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what i did i moved your ex partner to another group but this person is not even there yet so that's why well okay, okay. All right, good. Very good. Uh, okay. Yes, sure. uh, okay. What about you, uh, Arnold? Uh, uh, I'm going to ask you the first question. Uh, oh, okay. What image spring to mind when you heard when you hear the the word love? Well, I. Bring a, a picture of uh, me or someone uh, who love, and it can be a, fa a, fa a family, my family, or someone like a friend, or someone who I. Yes, I think it's possible, <laughs> but in the reality, it doesn't happen because. Uh, sometimes we are we are um I don't know I don't know how to say orgullosos proud um, proud proud. Right, proud. Um, proud and it's difficult to love everyone when we are so proud it's difficult to love everyone we have to be humble I think humildes yeah humble 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 we have to be, be humble to love everyone. But God says to, say, says says us that we have to love everyone. 
without exceptions. Yes, he says that and if we don't love to everyone, he, he, we are not a good sum of him. Right. The result of this was uh, the, that person has a, a tomorrow exactly in the location that does point with its nose. Uh, nose. nose. Uh, the person, the human had a tumor. Yes, yes. The, 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 it was a, a woman uh -huh. with a, a teacher, Francisco, we were talking about human, the, the law from animals to humans. Okay. Yes. And we are I am talking about an article uh, with a dog which uh, discovered a, a tumor in on its master. Oh! And the, the dog uh, point with with its nose directly in a part of the body that she has the tumor. Oh. And they made uh, exams and and studios, and they the the doctor detect the the tumor. Oh, okay, good. Where was this? Um, that was I don't know, but it happened in United States. I I don't remember what in in what city. What city. Yes. Yeah, but what's uh, interesting? Yeah, yeah. Animal love can be very uh, genuine sometimes, you know. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> it's not um, it's not a fake love. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes, thank you. So it's better to give love uh, as God and Jesus show us to love everybody. Yes. And eating other. Thank you. Good. And uh, we answered the third question. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did at the same time. Yes. Okay. Listen it. <laughs> what okay. do you think, teacher, about love? Well, it's uh, something that uh, everybody must experience. Uh, everybody must share, even though sometimes people don't deserve it. But, you know, the, the Holy Scripts, the Holy Bible, you know, they say love one another and they don't mention any exceptions. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So it's not easy to do it, but we should do it. Yes, I think it's better when you love every uh, to others because you you feel uh, freedom. You feel a freedom. Right. You know? mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And you, yeah. And you live more happy. Yeah, you yes. live happier. Definitely. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. I think that the people fall in love when you you can express uh, how 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 do you feel when you stay with that per with, with the person that you love and maybe maybe for the attention yeah. and and maybe because you can feel that the that that the person uh, gives give, gives like a support in your life. Yeah, action more than words, no? <laughs> yeah, like a song. <laughs> yeah, actions speak louder <laughs> than <laughs> words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, the next question is, how and why do people Fall out of love. In in have a problem with with another another person uh, with the with the time probably the the love is 
disappears. <laughs> okay, could be. I, I always think uh, maybe it is not about to be the, the half orange, like the people say. Uh, maybe it's about communication and respect. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of course you don't you, you can feel the same through the whole life i mean 10 or 15 years later maybe you need to or maybe you don't need maybe you you are feeling different things uh, because of the life the situations the the money whatever but if you try to stay in the in a way to respect and communicate what happened with your feelings with your thoughts and everything I, I think you can maybe maybe can maybe you can uh stay in a healthy relationship i think maybe also being love so <laughs> basically love is everything in life so it's really, really important in everything. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's true. Okay, the third question is, do you think it is possible to love everyone? What do you think about that, Herbert? <clears throat> Honestly, I don't think so. Uh, it's, it's too much people. I mean, you, you love most of the, you can love most of the people that you know. But everyone, even the people that you never will uh, know face to face or stuff like that, I think it's impossible. Uh, well, I think it, it is possible. Uh, it depends on the point of view because Mother Teresa of Calcutta loved everyone. Uh, he cared about every, every person uh, that she, he was, she was caring of. And... and and sometimes when you do volunteers or, or, or some, or you care for people too. And even if you don't know them, you, you know that you, you, you have a mission to, to, Help to, to love them. Yeah. Because you love what you're doing for them. So I think yeah, it, it, it is possible, but, but the thing is uh -huh. what right now we have, uh, uh, very hard moments you know, people are dying and stuff like that, but you cannot feel anything about those people because you, you just don't know them. It's, it's not bad, this feeling, because you are not in, in touch with them. So the, I am trying to be um, literal with the word everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I understand what you say. You, you try to care about um, the human being, for example, but for everyone, it's kind of hard, you know. Okay, yeah, it, yeah. It, as I say, it depends on the point of view. Okay. Uh huh. What about you, yes. Jessica? Maybe um, Herbert is trying to say that maybe it's not like the real, every single like, person. Yes, like every single. Uh -huh. At the same level, maybe like yeah. you know all of them and you like all of them and you really uh -huh. all of them, right? Maybe yeah. you you uh, you realize that someone has died, someone that you didn't know, and you feel like mm, you Nothing. feel a little bit bad because of what they went through or something, but it's not like you're gonna cry because you love them or something like that, that maybe that's what he's trying to say. In my case, I think that even though we are supposed to uh, love everyone, like we should be loving everyone, but I think that it's really, really difficult. It's like there is always going to be somebody that you don't like, that even when you meet them, um, there is something about them them that you don't like about their personality or something and you are not capable or you don't feel capable of loving them so I think that definitely it's not really possible to love everyone yeah, yeah. yes or person that used to be uh, as well 
And at the end, they will uh, share really good comments about book, and they will feel confident in that way because um, they are familiar with books. They will say that they have uh, something in common, right? So people know with this type of situation when they get uh, more each other, when they uh, share more uh, ideas together, and and the more and the more that they do, uh, it's more easy to fail in love. Okay, um, what about you, Arnold? Uh, well, in my opinion, there are two reasons people can uh, fall in love. No, cerrar bien. They they were married only for for ten months, and then they separate. So they were together for ten months. Ten months. And what happened after? Um. They they live separate at this moment, and they have a a, a child. Really? But they are separated. Yes. Yeah, yes. ten months yes. is very 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 short. Yes, yes. We are talking about in this moment relationship are very short because people doesn't doesn't have real love. Only they only thing about sex and um, for example they are they are meeting in social medias and or for example facebook and i think it's important to meet people personally share experience and share time together right right yeah technology you know social media and all that has influenced on why uh, so many people do not last long together. Yes. Right. For example, in music, if we are talking about music, um, before songs were very romantic, but in this time, uh, songs for young people only, only told about sex. And it, it doesn't romantic. Yeah, it's not romantic anymore. Yes. True. Everything is changed at this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Things are very different on how they were uh, years ago. Yes. True. It's very, very different. All right. I mean, which question were you guys discussing? Uh, the last one, teacher. Okay. Yeah, you know, when they say 10,000 years, I mean, that's, <laughs> they exaggerated uh, a little bit. You know, maybe yeah. 100 years or 50 years, you know, would have been more reasonable. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Julio, you are married, right? Hello. You're I married. Don't want, I, yes. I don't want to interrupt you. I I hear only only the your speak about the topic love and love song. Okay. Yeah. Julio, sorry, <laughs> I haven't seen that you are in the group. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, no so problem. so what is your opinion, Julius, about this topic? Well, it is very uh, interesting because. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, the this topic 
is very important because the people uh, talk with in, in person with the other person, not in chat or 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 in social media. Right. Yes, for me, change um, for bad, maybe, because the relation, the relation with the person is very important for for all for work, uh, for those people, for to connect to other culture, but uh, with this change, uh, this topic. Uh, for me, shame for bad. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, like, like you guys were saying, you know, like when you meet someone online, Facebook, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp, or uh, there is a tendency that the relationship is not going to last too long because, you know, like you were saying, uh, it's much better when you uh, when you actually meet the person face to face, you know, you get to spend time together and, uh, but yeah, times are very different now. Yeah. I think other important thing is in this time, many, many marriage doesn't finish very, very, very fast because my mother says that uh, love is soft, suffer too. And sometimes we doesn't want to suffer. And when you love, you have to suffer sometimes. Right, right. Yeah, they have, I don't know if you guys have read the book of Corinthians in the Bible. Yes. The, yes. the first book. Love uh, right. Love is, yes. Right, yeah. It's a very nice passage where they speak about love. Yes. Love, believe everything. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Let her, uh, let, let her be whatever they want to be. Yeah, you are right. Actually, I have some, a couple of friends that where they are, they have their own sexual preferences, right? But it doesn't matter because at the end we are friends and we have to accept people. Exactly. As they are, so. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about um, that particular topic that you have experienced before you are experiencing right now or that you will experience in the future? Any questions or comments? Me, teacher. Yes, Erica. I, I can understand good the question number nine. What does love look uh, like? Yeah, what does love look like? What does like? So yeah. right there, they're asking for your opinion about the time or times you have been in love with somebody. How did that relationship represent love? So you could say, well, in my opinion, love looks like a... Uh, something wonderful that you experience when you see that person. You see that person, you get inspired, you're always thinking about that person, you will do anything for that person and, and just share your opinion about how you feel when you were in love or when you are in love. Okay. Yes. Anybody else? Anybody Thank else? You. Good. Okay, so let's change topics. Um, do you guys remember the passive voice? What is the passive voice? Yes, maybe. <laughs> what is the passive voice? It's the, I don't know, when you said the sentence said backwards in some, in some way backwards, like, yeah, like for example, my mother cooked pupusas, or uh -huh. the pupusas was cooked by my, by my mother. So okay. that's the last yeah. sentence that I said that was the passive voice. Okay, good. Someone else? What is passive voice? When you use the verb to be, 
and use the the verb the principal verb in past participle. Good, very good. Someone else. What is the passive voice? Uh huh. So, uh, who said? Uh, the, who 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 was the first one to speak? Was it you, Guillermo, or Francis? No, it was I. Okay. So yeah, he said something. He mentions the word backwards, and in a way, it is true. So uh, you have the active voice. You know, like the the way you usually study your tenses. I live in Lourdes, uh, I'm working for Inglés Corporativo, I have been in Huachapan uh, two times, but all those sentences can be said in a different form. And like Shanita said, when you are using the passive voice, it is mandatory that you include verb to be and that you use the form of the verb in past participle. So once again, uh, you use verb to be and you use the past participle of the verb, of the verb. How do you say, okay, let me, let me, okay, you say, the police found my car. Which tense is that? That's active. Active. Okay, active. it's active yes, in which tense? Simple past. Simple past. Simple now, past. how do you transfer this information to the passive voice? My car was found. Exactly. My car was found. My car was found. So they say, hey, you look very happy today. Of course I am. They uh, my car was found. Who found it? We don't care. We don't need to know. The person is happy because they found his, his car. So my car was found. So when you're talking about the passive voice, you don't mention who is responsible for the action. You just share the information. Any questions there? No? No. Yo. We buy water in Super Selectos or in San Salvador. We buy water in San Salvador. Active in present. Active in present, exactly. How do you transfer that to the passive in present? The word is bought. The water is bought. Simple. Where do you buy the water? We don't really need to know. But if someone is asking you, you can say it. So water is bought and that's, uh, uh, that should be enough. Any questions or comments about the passive voice? No? Nope. All right, so let me show you. This small dialogue. <sighs> no, that's not the one. Where, 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 where? Give me a second. Nine to ten. This one here. Okay, can you see uh, the picture? Yes. yes can. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay, can you give me a description about the picture? What's going on? I yeah, think they, they are recording. Uh, uh, TV show. They are taking pictures. Okay, they are taking pictures. They're Someone said they are filming a movie. movie. Uh huh. Okay. So when they're making a movie, you know, videos are made, pictures are taken, and so on. What year do you think that car is? Oh, I don't know, but it's very old. 71. 21? Yeah, around 30 or 40, maybe. Yeah, 
35. It yeah. might be at a uh, T, the 14. Okay. Have you ever seen uh, any cards like that in real life? Yes. yes. No. I don't remember. Maybe in the museum. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the only time that I have seen a car like that was in Inside La Constancia. They have a car like that. And uh, it was 1930 something. I don't remember. Okay, anyways. So we have this conversation. In this conversation, um, they are uh, talking about how movies are filmed. So we have Ryan and we have Nina. Who is going to be Ryan? I will I'm be going Ryan. to be Ryan. Okay, Karen. Oh, we have many Ryans. Ryan and <laughs> Nina, where's Rina? I could be Rina. Okay, Guillermo, go ahead. One, okay. two, three. Go ahead. Work Action. Okay, working on movies <laughs> must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. Uh, one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, I've seen it in film just once. Lots of different shots have been to be taken. Only the best ones are used to are used in the final film. So, how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, uh, but sometimes as as many as twenty times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow! I didn't uh, realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Good, excellent, thank you. Thank any, you. Any questions there about vocabulary or pronunciation? Teacher, what is the meaning of angle? Angle, angle, like uh, mm -hmm. when they- From uh, different places or positions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From different like, places or position, yes. Like a point of view. Yeah, okay. so like one angle, a different angle, an mm -hmm. upper angle. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Any others? Any other questions? Realized? Realized. 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 What is the meaning of realized? Me di cuenta. I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah, no me di cuenta. cuenta. Yeah, realize means darse cuenta. Yes. Right. So he said, I, I, I'm driving my car and I realized that uh, I had left my phone in the house. So I had to return. So realize. Uh, yes. And please uh, never use uh, the, the word in, in Spanish because it doesn't mean the same. Right. Uh, you know? I, I heard people saying, yo realicé que no traje la comida. And I mean, that's not correct. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, you know, and that you're happens right. when, when, uh, when you're translating and you don't know that uh, uh, sometimes the, the word can be uh, true. The meaning can be true, can be the same, but other times it can be very different. Yeah. It's tricky. Yeah, realicé que olví olvidado. And like, no, you don't speak mm. like that. These are very, some, some words are tricky. Right, right. They're tricky. It, it's similar to actually. Yeah, actually. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean. The same. Actualmente. <laughs> right, right. It's like, in realidad, right? Yes. Actually, yeah. Actually, actually, <laughs> actually yeah. I'm hungry right now. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, actually, oh, I ate before I, I began. So yeah, we have uh true cognates and we have false cognates. You know, the true cognates are when you have two words in the in the same in, in uh, one word in two different languages, and the meaning is the same. But in some cases, you have false cognates. You have one word in two different languages, and the meaning is different. So that is so we have to be careful with cognates. Cognates is connotation. No, let let me um, chat. It's like the context. 
not exactly. Okay, a cognate. How do you say humano in English? Human. Human. Human being. How do you say uh, hospital in English? Hospital. 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 And how do you say the uh, motocicleta in English? Motorcycle. 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 So those three examples are true cognates. So car, carro, motocicleta, motorcycle, human, humano, hospital, hospital. So you have the same word that in exists in two different languages and they have the same meaning. Oh, so yeah. those are examples of true cognates. True cognate. Now you have actually uh, realized those are examples of false cognates because the word exists in two different languages, but the meaning is different. Like realize, uh, actually, so we got cases like that. So those are cognates. Okay, okay. okay. Got it. Right. Cognates. And when you compare English and Spanish, 60% are cognates. When you compare English and Spanish, 60% are cognates. And, and that's a good explanation why sometimes people read documents, they read papers, they understand what they're reading, but they cannot speak the language because 60% of all the information, they recognize it and they understand it because uh, we have that vocabulary in Spanish, so. Really, that much? Yeah, You're that totally much. Totally right. No. That much. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And, and the thing is that there are many words in English that exist and people never use. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I think oh. it's easier uh, read that than speak, actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because, you know, when you're reading, you know. Or you, listening. Or, or when listening, you're. Listening, right. Yeah, you, you read and you take your time. Like, oh, I don't know this word. You stop, you make a pause, whatever. When you're speaking, speaking is more spontaneous. So you have to be like more, uh, uh, more uh, attentive to what people are saying. So any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No, sir. No. So those are... Cognates. How do you say docente in English? Teacher. Docent. Teacher or docent. Docent. Right. docent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say motorista in English? Driver. Driver. Driver or motorist. You can say mm -hmm. motorist, but mm -hmm. it, as you can see, the word motorist, people never use it but the war exists. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's why I was telling you that 60%, when you compare English and Spanish, 60% are cognates. Chemical, oh. chemi chemical and chemistry could be an example? Yeah, sure. Yeah, they look very similar to Spanish, right? But they mean uh, different uh, things, right? Right, or not? yeah, they do. Uh, chemistry Because of and the context. Yes, and that is something else when you're talking about uh, the denotation, connotation of the word, you know, like how people are using it, which contents and, and things like that. Okay. Yes. Any other questions or comments, people? For example, police and doctor are examples. Uh, police, right, yeah. Police, doctors, okay. hospital, injection. If Engineer. you look around your house, you know, like you see like television, refrigerator, um, elevator, elevator. Hey, I heard before um, vaccination and you said, you said something like that. Injection. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Is the same thing? Uh, it it is and it's not, because an injection can be, okay. Uh, here's an injection for your pain, and five minutes after you're like nothing happened. So a vaccine protects you from 
more serious uh, diseases. Okay. So, vacuna injection. So, they are like, they are somehow connected, but they are different. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any other comments or questions? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time, nine o'clock. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Very good night. Night. Sleep well. Sleep well, too. Don't disappear. Come to class. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do. I know you do. <laughs>